Hi, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop in Sydney. And I'm going to be doing a Maltese Find a Man card reading. And I'm going to um, show you how to read the cards. So, so, so what you do is you shuffle the cards. And what you're doing is you're shuffling and you're also spinning. So you spin the cards as well, like this. So you're spinning some. Okay. And what we're doing is, this is a Find a Man deck. So in this card, there's a young, there's a prince, which is a young man. There is a young king, which is a man who's about the same age as the, the person who's asking the question, which in this case is a woman. Uh, we have an older king, which is someone a bit older than her. And then we have her. Okay. So what we're doing is we're spinning the cards and shuffling. And the idea is to see who's next to her and what's next to her and what's happening. So the, we lay them out like this. One, two, three, and four. Now this is the past, present, and then the future. And my pet bird is making a lot of noise in the background. Okay, so the first four cards will be the past. Now the first card in particular is very much the foundation of the reading. So the rooster upside down. The rooster upside down, the rooster re represents showing off your, showing yourself off, showing your feathers off, um, being out socially, being cocky, okay, it's a cocky rooster, but it's upside down, which possibly indicates that she has not been doing this, okay, so it shows that she may not be um, expressing herself or connecting with potential partners, say, so let's see what else we got, yeah, that's confirming that, the donkey, old donkey means that there's something outmoded here, something that's wet, uh, bored, boring. Daisy cards are good for communication. Okay, so if you think of a, I think of these as like if a bee would have a choice which one to, cho to choose, or probably the whole lot. So it's about networking. Then we have an old king in the past. So it shows that she may have had a relationship with somebody in the past. Okay, but he is looking away. So it does show that he's not in, interested anymore. Then we go to the present. Open flower. The apple, that's very seductive, both of those. So it shows that she's open in a way and she's hopeful, she's being fruitful, but the apple can also mean seduction too, and the bunnies. So what I'm getting is she's closed, she's maybe talking to someone, she's open again, but then she's closing off. So this person may experience a lot of ups and downs in her love life and get very mixed results, okay? Now, in the present, there's an, another, there's a young king, but he's also looking, he's upside down. He's also looking at the bunnies which are upside down, which is indicating here a blockage, not having fun. Now there's she, I, I thought she'd be in that position for some reason. Um, yeah, she's in the corner. She's kind of like, she's open to some degree. She's not really opening up to a relationship though with any men. If you notice, the men are far away from her. They're over here. She's looking into space, which means she's not really engaging with anyone. Although at the same time, she does have a bit of an open energy and a flirtatious, seductive vibe about her. It kind of gets all blocked though. <clears throat> there's a young prince there, and then there's a crown. Now the crown card happens to be in the, in the outcome, which is showing us that she's thinking with her head, but thinking not very clearly. There's a, a young prince or a younger man who's interested, but it doesn't look like she's going to give him a relationship. So I would say with her that she's not really engaging in men very well, this woman, this client. Um, I think she's partly open, but more on a social level, and it's seductive, but doesn't seem to go into a relationship. The men, the two men that are most important are over here. One of them's looking away, the other one's upside down, which sh shows that they're out of the running. The one that's in the running, which is going towards her, is having to face a no relationship energy here. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how the Find a Man, Maltese Find a Man cards work. Um, and this is Paris de Bono. You can join my Facebook page, which is Lenormand and Cartomancy. Um, and um, yeah, this, um, hope you enjoyed that. Bye.